strange time right now in the middle of this coronavirus thing. I mean, uh, you know, we're hanging out at home most of the time. And, uh, you know, you just don't know when it's going to end. When is it going to end? You don't know. You know, a month, two months, six months. And, uh, you know, when is a vaccine or whatever other kind of cure going to come along? You just don't know. It's just a kind of strange time. Just uh, unknowing about the future. The key thing is we just need to keep our thoughts positive and, and uh, thankful we're alive. You know, some people are struggling financially. Uh, some people's businesses are just totally shut down. I just hate to be in the restaurant business right now. My gosh, I'd just be stressing out of my mind uh, having a rent or mortgage to pay on a building that I can't use. <laughs> uh, I tell you, uh, it, it's just uh, crazy, crazy times. But the nice thing is we know this will be over. Uh, my, uh, my great-grandparents both died in the... Uh, in the Spanish flu pandemic, both of them in their 20s. And my grandfather had to, uh, was an orphan. He was raised by his uncle who was uh, mean to him. And uh, so this uh, affected the family way, way, way back when. But uh, here we are again in the midst of it. Who would have thought that with, our, with these modern times we'd be in the middle of another one of these crazy things? <laughs> yeah, just nuts. But the key thing is, you know, got to. Uh, find a way to help people in the midst of this. Uh, if you're still working, give your heart to what you're doing. Really, really serve people. And I understand people are under a lot of stress, so be extra kind, extra polite, extra courteous, and keep your own mind positive. Let's keep our thoughts positive, and let's just be a solution here to the problem and uh, not add to the stress of other people. So just, uh, you know, we just need to do the take the proper precautions, you know, just one of those little viruses, just one gets into your lungs and then it gets into one of your cells and starts reproducing itself. itself. It makes, uh, you know, a thousand more that get into another thousand cells and reproduce themselves. That's, that's a pretty bad situation the way these things operate. Uh, I have a science degree and I studied a lot of genetics and virology and, and microbiology and uh, crazy how these things work, but, you know, we, we have to be diligent and be smart, do the right thing, and, and uh, you know, keep our minds right. Again, find ways to serve people in the midst of this. So find, find ways to help other people, and, uh, and uh, don't focus so much on the news. You know, keep enough news on to just keep informed and know what to do, know how to be safe, but don't flood your mind so much with it that it makes you uh, a, a frozen <laughs> frozen by the paralysis of fear. Uh, you know, be informed, know what's going on, but you know, focus on uh, solutions, not problems. That's what winners do. Focus on solutions, not problems. Now is a great time to catch up on things you, you haven't uh, done for a while. Maybe you know, fixing up things around the house or, or uh, you, know, you know, keeping in touch with uh, people we haven't spoken with for a while, but let's just make the best of this situation and uh, this will be over. And we'll look in the rearview mirror, and, uh, you know, it's not like being in, in a war where there's bombs dropping all around us. Sure, there are people dying, uh, but, uh, you know, if we take the proper precautions, it significantly reduces those odds of uh, that affecting us in such a, uh, such a tragic way. So let's just keep our minds right, focus on the future, focus on the solution, focus on the positive things we can do to help our, help our uh, fellow man. And uh, f focus on the things we can do to uh, take advantage of this time and uh, make our lives better, make our homes better, and uh, we'll get through this.